floating. You're floating. Tell me where you're floating. Look around you. Trust your first impression. I feel like um, I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. Try your best. What does it feel like? It's like a uh, like an old timey town. An old town. Mm -hmm. Where is this old town? Is it in a forest or is it? In no, it's like a uh, like old cobblestone street. Mm, an old cobblestone street. Very good. Is it daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Just see tall, like tall type of, uh, I don't know if they're buildings or the houses, but mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm just looking, kind of looking around and looking up. Okay. Let's keep looking and see what else is there. Do you see any people around you? Yeah. Mm hmm Tell me about this. I feel like they're looking at something, but mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Mm hmm Do you feel that you're close to the ground or high up? How does it feel from your perspective? I feel like, I feel like I'm, like, behind a crowd. Behind the crowd? Mm hmm mm hmm So if you're behind your crowd, do you feel like you have a body there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what kind of body you have. Look down at your feet. What do you see? What's the trust the first impression? What's the first thing that comes into you? I want to say boots. Mm hmm. Are these male or female boots? I feel like they're kind of narrow. Mm -hmm. Like a, like for, like a, a man with a smaller feet or maybe female, I can't really tell. Mm -hmm. Let's not find out what else you're wearing. I want you to imagine as if there was a, a mirror in front of you, a spiritual mirror, and you can look into it and see what your reflection looks like. What do you see? I feel like female, but I, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So describe yourself to me. What are you wearing? Allow the image to get clear. So can you can describe what her, what that image looks in the mirror to you. What are you wearing? I feel like kind of like a, uh, like a white, kind of like a fancy white shirt. Mm-hmm. But, uh, um, like a long dress. Mm-hmm. And do you have anything on your ha in your hands? Are you holding anything? My first impression was a gun, but I don't know if I mm -hmm. just... Mm-hmm. Trust your first impression. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it's a gun in your hand? Yeah, in my left hand, I feel like I have one. Mm -hmm. Is this a large gun or a small gun? Like a revolver. Mm -hmm. What else do you have with you? Anything else? A whip. A whip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything on your head?
Not sure. Okay. So let's see what happens in this scene. What is it that you do in this crowd? I want you to play out the scene and see what happens next. What's the crowd looking at? I feel like somebody's like basically somebody's in trouble. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what happens. What do you do? Tell me everything that happens. I want to say like they're waiting on me. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like uh, I'd rather sit back and kind of like not have what's going to happen happen. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I have to like get up there and be a part of it. All right. So allow yourself to see that scene play out. Feel yourself in that crowd. Totally integrate. And tell me what happens. What do you do? It's not clear. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to go with it. Imagine what happens next. Uh, Basically, see uh, somebody's about to get executed. Somebody's getting executed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In what way? I feel like... uh, like chopping block type of, mm-hmm. you know, going to be beheaded. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that this person is a male or female being beheaded? A man. A man. Mm-hmm. Use your instinct, your knowing, and see who this man is in relationship to you. How do you know this man? The first thing that pops into your mind. I feel like he's a, like he's known. Mm-hmm. Like he's kind of like a, you know, like he's kind of like an outsider. Like people know him, mm-hmm. but he doesn't get cl- close to people. Okay. And um, like he does things. Um. He he does things. That. That he know he shouldn't do, and 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 people around know what type of person he is, mm-hmm. and he's found. I feel like he finally just got caught mm-hmm. with one of the uh, crimes that he's committed. So, what emotions are coming up in you when you're seeing this? How are you feeling about this? Part of me, I know that uh, that's the law, but. I know that um, I feel like he's like a misunderstood person. Mm-hmm. So what happens next? What do you do? Do you always carry a revolver and whip? I kind of feel like uh, I'm there as like some ty- type of security or something. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Um, some, kind of like a backup plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I don't really know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do, but I feel like I'm involved. Mm-hmm. Okay. So allow this scene to play out like as if you pushed a, f- a forward button and see the scene just play out. And tell me what happens. I feel like he was beheaded, but I feel like I blocked it out. 
Mm-hmm. What impression do you get from that? How does it make you feel? I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's leave that scene now. Leave that scene behind. Close it like a book. And now let's go to another scene in that same lifetime. We're looking for the place where you live. The place where you live. Allow the image to appear. Tell me where it is. What does it look like? I kind of feel like it's, uh, like I don't know if it's DC, Mm -hmm. but, um, it feels like, like, like a, like a tall, like a tall type of building, but I feel like I, like I live on the second floor. Mm-hmm. Tell me what the place looks like. Look around you. Can you see the furniture? The walls, the windows. I feel like I collect a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. What kind of stuff do you collect? I can't really see it clearly, but I just mm-hmm. feel like it's like little like little knickknacks, like mm-hmm. things here and there. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like the place is cluttered with them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you do during the day? Do you have a profession? some reason the word carpenter keeps popping up. Mm -hmm. Carpenter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Always trust the first thing that comes into your mind. Mm -hmm. So let's see you doing what it is that you do. Allow yourself to close that scene and go to the place where you work. Where are you? Farm in a shop. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing? Sand and measure. Mm-hmm. And while you're doing that, take a look at yourself and t- describe to me what you look like. I have, I have wood shavings all over me. Mm-hmm. I have like a uh, like an apron. Mm-hmm. Apron on. Are you male or female? Look at your hands. No. Mm-hmm. What color are your hands? What? Mm-hmm. How, what's your stature like? I feel like I'm old. Mm-hmm. Very good. Like not, uh, not like elderly, but like I've been doing it for a while, like I'm tired. You're tired of this? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Is there anything else from this scene that's interesting to you? Look around. I feel like I have a a son. Mm -hmm. Does he work with you? Yeah, I feel like he's up. Like, I feel like I'm in the back doing the work and and he's like in the front at the desk. Okay. So he takes care of the the business? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You do the work? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What kind of relationship do you feel with your son? (laughs) Right away, I just feel like I, like he's, he's smart, but 
I'm uh, scared to let him do more than he can because I don't trust him. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Control. Mm-hmm. Anything else from there? Yeah, I just feel like uh, I don't know how, how much longer I can do it, but I don't want to stop doing it because I feel like he, he won't do it the right way mm-hmm. and, and take care of the business. So you feel like maybe he won't do the same quality of work that you do? Right. Mm-hmm. And people depend on that, don't they? Right. They've come to know you for that quality. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's close that scene now and let's go to another important event in that same lifetime. Go to that event and tell me where you are. What do you see? Kind of got two two different things. Mm-hmm. Pick one. Uh, I feel like I'm at a river. Mm-hmm. But then I also saw I like a lot of deer. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you're the same person, or is this a different life? I feel like I'm the same person. Okay, so let's find out what you're doing in one of these places. Which one have you chosen? The river. All right, let's go to the river and see what happens there. What's this river like? Is it a large river or a small creek? Uh, what does it look like? Is it a river that you recognize? There's one that I, I come back to. I, I fish. Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself fishing? I feel like, yeah. Are you by yourself fishing? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So tell me more about this scene. How do you feel there when you're fishing? I feel like I feel like I, I reflect. Mm-hmm. I just think about just think about my life. Mm-hmm. So let's go into that reflection now and tell me what are the things that you're thinking about? I feel like uh, I had a wife that died. Mm-hmm. Who's left now? This is me and my son. Mm-hmm. Anything else that you get from this? I feel like I don't really know how to connect with my son and I wonder what my wife was tell me. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's close that scene now. Close mm-hmm. that scene and let's go to another important event in that lifetime. Mm-hmm. Be there now. Get car crash. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this. I feel like I messed up my hand and my legs. Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you? feel like I'm worried because I need my hands for my job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's see what happens as a result of this car crash. I want you to go forward to see the results of it. I feel like I... Um, trust my son more Mm -hmm. and I try to teach him the way that I do things Mm -hmm. and he he tries to do it the same way 
to please me, but he's, I don't think he really has it in him mm -hmm. to, uh, to do that type of work. I think he's more, he's more of a, uh, like a numbers person. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel knowing this? A part of me knows that, um, that I don't need to force him to do anything. But I know that I need the money. We need the money. Mm -hmm. And it uh, forces me to be hard on him. Mm -hmm. How is your son reacting to that? He tries to avoid me. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's go ahead now to see what happens next. Where are you? I don't know. Not clear. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the time before you died. I want you to hone in on that day that you died. Right beforehand. The last day of your life in that lifetime. Where are you? In the hospital. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? I feel like the first impression is it's hard for me to breathe. Mm -hmm. It's hard for you to breathe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in the hospital with you? Yeah, my uh, son and his family. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're thinking about while you're trying to breathe? I feel bad. I feel like he he became successful. And I feel like partly I feel like I forced him to do something that didn't really make him happy. Mm -hmm. And even though he became successful, I missed out on having a good relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make your, you feel emotionally? What do you feel inside? What? I feel, I feel that I should feel proud of him mm -hmm. because of how well he did in life, mm -hmm. what he's doing in life, but I feel bad because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I feel like I, I understand that I should have just accepted mm -hmm. the way, accepted the way he was. Mm -hmm. Is that feeling heavy on you? Those regrets of not spending enough time with him and forcing him? Yeah, because I feel like that was, he was all that I had and I was all that he had, but I, I caused separation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of my goals. Yes. Well, let's take a moment now before you take your last breath and we're going to lighten your load. I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me all of that heaviness that you feel of not being there with your son in a way that you could have given him more love and acceptance of what he did. Give it all to me. You don't need to carry that with you anymore. What's done is done. He became a success. And you love him. Do I have it all? Yeah. Let me take that.
gift from you and send it to the universe, what would you like to fill that space with right now? Peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. Lots of peace. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in there. Is there anything else you would like to fill it with? Security. Mm -hmm. To put lots of security in there, knowing that whatever you do, you are always divinely guided. You're always taken care of. What else? That's it. Wonderful. Can you forgive yourself? Yes. Very good. So now take your last breath and tell me where you go. What happens to your spirit as you leave that body? I feel like I'm floating. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can see what's going on in the room. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the room? I feel like they just found out that they're sitting in the chair next to the bed and they just realized that I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my son's being strong about it, but his wife's upset. Mm -hmm. How do you feel as you're watching the scene in the room? Do you have any feelings at all? I feel worried that, mm -hmm. um, for word that uh he's gonna basically uh be another version of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you look at the scene, I want you to think about your whole life and how you lived it. What was the purpose of you living that life? What were you supposed to learn? What were you supposed to do? To just appreciate what I have. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you learned that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from it? That uh, I can only control what I do, and I shouldn't put things on other people. Mm -hmm. Very good. So drift away from that scene now, drift away. I'd like for you to now go to those places and see those people that guide you after your life. She's bathroom. Oh, very good. All right. So in a moment, I'm going to touch your shoulder. And when you do, when I do, you're going to open your eyes, remain in this beautiful state. And then when you come back, you will go even deeper, going back to the same place. Eyes open. What do you see? I feel like I'm in front of couple people. Mm -hmm. Describe them for me. It's kind of like being in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. um, they're not really saying much. I feel like uh, it's one main one that's uh, ahead of the other one. It's just that forward. That's, uh, I feel like he's about to say something. Mm -hmm. Do you connect with him telepathically from mind to mind? That's how you communicate. You'll be able to understand everything as a thought. And as the thoughts come into your mind, just repeat them. I feel, I feel like he said, uh, I know it was hard, but did you learn? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Yeah.
What was it that you're supposed to be learning? I feel like um, it was about forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Something to do with my wife. Okay. Let's hone in on that and see what happened. I feel like she left me when she died. And so I couldn't afford to slip up. And um, I had to go harder in my business. And also I feel that it made up for It made up for the emotion that I felt that helped me not focus on it. Mm-hmm. What else are they telling you? That's why you said forgiveness is good. Mm-hmm. You must always forgive those. Forgive yourself. Mm-hmm. Are they teaching you anything? I feel like he's telling me I need to go to the like some type of school or class. Mm-hmm. So allow yourself to go to that class and tell me what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Like a um, an actual classroom mm-hmm. with, with desks and, yes. and classmates. Mm-hmm. How are you dressed in this place? What do you look like? I actually saw myself, Mm -hmm. Mm. like an image of myself, like as I am now. Mm -hmm. Look around, see if you see anybody else that you recognize. Mm -hmm. I feel like I see see, uh, my son. Mm -hmm. I feel like I see my wife too. Mm -hmm. But I definitely uh, felt like I looked over to my left and my son was smirking at me. Mm-hmm. How old did he look there? Mm. I feel like he's uh, it's weird to see him because I'm I'm seeing the face that he has now, but he's a teenager. Like he's uh, like he's kind of like a young adult. Mm-hmm. Anybody else in this room that you recognize? No. Let's find out what the lesson is that they're teaching in this classroom. Mm. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. If you would allow me to eavesdrop and see what they say about forgiveness. What's the lesson saying today? Life is about experience and forgiving. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Like uh, everyone, everyone in there is kind of worn out from just going through tough experiences, and they don't really want to forgive, but they understand that they need to. Mm-hmm. 
Are we talking about people from other lives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like in between. Yes. The last life and the next one. Mm -hmm. So do they have any plan as to how you're going to be forgiving in the next life? I just, uh, I heard one of the strategies is to meditate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else are you getting from this place? What other impressions? I feel like uh, some, some of the classmates are seeing people who uh, they had experiences with in other lives and they're seeing what it's really about mm -hmm. and and they weren't that person really but they were another person going through an experience mm -hmm. for uh, for growth mm -hmm. what reaction do you have when you see that <laughs> like it's kind of like a uh, how could I be so dumb type of mm -hmm. feeling Mm -hmm. like, like, how could I not know that? From on the person's part. Mm -hmm. What about you? Have you forgiven finally? I feel like now that I know uh, my next life, I will try to forgive as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Now, has anybody in that classroom agree to be in the same life that you're going to live in the next one? I feel like somebody towards my right raised their hand. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, uh, like the teacher asks who's going on the field trip type of thing. Mm -hmm. the person said, I will, I'll go. And what's their role going to be? Do you know? I feel like a good friend. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like knowing that you're going to take another life and get experiences again? How does that feel to you? I feel like I'm ready, but I want to get it right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to learn the same lesson. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's go to the time before you pick your parents. Let's see how it is that you pick them and your family. Where are you? I don't know. I just feel like I'm. Feel like I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I see my mother. Mm -hmm. In what way do you see her? See her as a, and like a, a, kind of like an unfair situation. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like she, um, I feel like she wants to do and have more, mm -hmm. but she is in a, a negative situation. A negative place. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can help her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do you do before you pick your parents? Anything else? I kind of look down the timeline. Mm -hmm. What do you see? It's 
my first impression there. I feel like um, I need to go through a similar scenario that she's gone through, but then get out of it to show her that she can that she can balance herself out. Mm-hmm. So you're there more like a teacher? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else happens? I just keep saying my grandmother. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's just a lot of a lot of pain. A lot of pain in my uh in my grandmother in, in the house. Mm-hmm. How do you feel as you look at that? <clears throat> I understand it. Mm-hmm. What's your role going to be with your grandmother? For some reason, I felt like, like to keep her occupied, mm-hmm. but um, I feel like she's a real busy person. I think she tries to stay busy, and um, I think part of my role is to help her mm-hmm. keep her mind off of her problems. Okay. Do you select anybody else in your family? Mm. I keep my uncle keeps popping in my head, but mm-hmm. yeah. and um, I feel like he feels like he's a black sheep. Mm-hmm in the family and I felt like I've been a black sheep but I don't know how that will correlate with him I don't, I don't know how that will help him mm-hmm. but I feel like it's it was some type of situation to where he needed I, I needed to choose him as well mm-hmm. Is there any time that you choose the team that's coming in with you? That I choose who? The team. In this life, next lifetime. Besides that classroom. I just got it only if it helps. Mm-hmm. Good. So let's see what happens next. What happens before you come into that lifetime? I feel like it's, it's people who I it's like you're leaving family to go on a journey. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's people there to see me leave, mm-hmm. and there's a uh, they're they're kind of like patting me on the back and saying I can do it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? I feel I feel motivated, mm-hmm. but um, I know it's it's not going to be easy. Mm-hmm. Any extra? information that you're getting from your guts before you leave. Any tips? Just tell me to keep faith, just have faith. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's leave that scene. Let's leave that life. 
allow yourself to move away from that scene, leaving that man there to continue on his journey. Do I have permission to ask questions today? Yes. Thank you very much. I know that you could have shown Rodney many different lifetimes today. Why did you choose to show him that scene of that man being beheaded? What was going on in that scene? Compassion. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, something is the way it is, it doesn't mean that you have to be a part of it or go with it. Okay. Where was this lifetime? I feel like it's Washington, D.C. Washington. Mm -hmm. And he was, a, he was a woman there? Yes. Okay. And what was the gun and the whip all about? Did she protect? Not sure. Okay, very good. What about the man, the carpenter? Why did you show him that life? To understand that is Family is more important than family is more important than business. Mm -hmm. Well, right now he's having he's having thoughts about the fact that he doesn't like exactly what he's doing, but it's it's lucrative. How would you like to tell him about that? Don't do it. <laughs> Is there a different path that he should be on that you'd like to see him on? He's already helping people, but needs to help without looking for a return. Okay. So just help because you need to help. Right. Okay. Out of his heart. Right. Okay, good. Does he understand that? Yes. What's the purpose of this lifetime? We know that he had to forgive. What else is he here to do and experience? Love and stability. Mm-hmm. Is he on the right path? Yes. Okay. Good. What's going on with his nervous system? He feels tingling all over. What happened there? To get his attention. To get his attention. What are you trying to tell him with that? He needs to relax. Ah, relax. And how should he relax? Take breaks. Take breaks. Spend more time with family. Okay. So as the old carpenter, he used to go out to the river and fish and reflect. Right. Mm -hmm. So he should be doing more of that. Right. What about meditation? He meditates. Okay. But take more re more relaxing breaks and spend time with maybe his son and his wife. Yeah. Well, okay. He, uh, he's on the right path. Good. Good. He says that when he was younger, he felt a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. He had sleep paralysis also. What was going on? If 
why it was two different forces. Mm-hmm. It's like a struggle um, between what he will become mm-hmm. and what what things around him are trying to keep him as. Mm-hmm. What are these things around him? Negative forces. Mm-hmm. How is he protecting himself? Control his thoughts. Mm-hmm. Is he succeeding? Yeah, he's a lot positive, a lot more positive. Okay. Okay. And he meditates. Uh huh. Does that help? Yeah. Uh, it quiets. It quiets all the. Anxious thoughts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all of that anxiety was just the struggle that he was having. Yeah. Okay. Between what he knew was right and what he could have stayed as. Ah, uh, okay. So he chose a different path. Right. Okay. Good. Does he continue to have that anxiety? Not as much as before. Okay. Can I ask for that, please, to be worked on? To give him that peace, and we'll give him something to at the end, so that he can relieve his body. Yes. Okay. Good. Why is he so guarded? Protection. Mm-hmm. What's he being protecting? What's he protecting himself from? Emotions. Ah. On uh, emotions mm-hmm. and energy, uh, protecting his energy. Mm-hmm. Things uh, things were always pulling, mm-hmm. pulling at his energy, and he had to learn how to conserve his energy. Okay, is it working? Good and bad. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Tell them each one. The pros and the cons of being guarded. He blocks out the good as well as the bad. Mm-hmm. So how can we change that today? Change his perception. Mm-hmm. On what's happening around him. Mm-hmm. See good in every situation. Okay, good. Does he understand that? Yes. Okay. So can you begin rewiring him right now to make it easier? I know that all of those those thoughts have created paths in his mind, in his brain, to go towards something negative. Would you please start rewiring it to where he sees things in a positive way? Yes. Thank you very good, very much. Mm-hmm. Is he on track with what he needs to learn in this life? Yeah, he's starting to get closer. Mm-hmm. Now, we saw that he was supposed to learn forgiveness in this lifetime. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you help him with that? Yes. Thank you. Do you think that this session would help him also understand it? Yes. Okay. He has to remove his current beliefs and mm-hmm. doubts mm-hmm. and rewatch it. So stop doubting himself? Yeah. Okay. So I know that every time he sees this recording, it's going to impact him a little bit more. Yes. Okay, good. Did he know his wife and son from a past life? I know we saw them between lives. How do they know each other? Yes. Mm-hmm. But they were they weren't immediate family. Okay. Were they friends? Yes. Okay. Um kind of passerbys. Okay. High and by type. Okay. So did they choose to be in this life in that classroom? That was Yes. Those were the volunteers. Excellent. 
he feels that when when he's small anyway, he felt that he would be dying soon. What was going on there? Was he picking up anything from that house? Not necessarily a house, but the energy mm -hmm. in the house didn't match with the energy that he was going towards. Mm -hmm. He always felt that there was something else for him or that he was aware of things that he kind of felt he shouldn't have been aware of. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the stuff going on in that house? Right. Okay. What was going on in that house? The phone dropping through the floors, things like that. I think the energy manifested into situations mm -hmm. for them to notice mm -hmm. how bad it was. How bad the house was or how bad, how bad their situation was? How bad the, the consciousness okay. of, of the house. Okay. All right. Did something bad happen in that house at one time? No. Okay. But it just manifested a lot of thought forms. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's real thick. It's a, uh, it's a thick negative mm -hmm. energy that's in the family. What is that? The women are the women are very strong and they it's uh it came from abusive situations with men. Mm-hmm. Is it a female energy or a male energy that has followed them? Some male energy. Mm-hmm. They all feel that they have to be they have to be strong mm -hmm. and stay away from other people mm -hmm. to protect themselves. That that energy, was it sent by anybody? Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Who sent that energy? No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. it wasn't sent. It was uh. It was asked for. Ah, oh, who asked for it? Great great grandmother. Okay. For protection. Mm hmm. And it still lingers. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is there a way that we can help the women of his family today? Was this Lucille or Lucille's mother? Lucille's mother. Mm -hmm. Can we speak with Lucille's mother today? Yes. What's her name? Cooper. Cooper. All right. I'm going to count from one to three. Tap your forehead and let's speak with Cooper. One, two, and three. Good afternoon, Cooper. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Cooper, I understand that you asked for a protection for the women in your family. Yes. Tell me about that. Why did you feel that you needed protection? So much going on. So much going on around me. Mm-hmm. People dying. 
And what were they dying of? Murder. Mm-hmm. They were being murdered. Who was murdering them? Relatives. Mm-hmm. Relatives were being murdered by uh I needed protection. Mm hmm But Cooper, that protection has caused a lot of havoc in your in your in your family. Do you realize that now? Yes. And the only way that your family will find peace is for you to retrieve that protection. Are you willing now to call back that thought form? that entity that you created. Call it back and heal it and s allow us to send it to the light today. Yes. All right. So, Cooper, I'm going to ask for the spiritual warriors to help us with this exercise today. I'm going to have them encapsulate all of those thought forms that were created that are creating havoc in the women of his family. Have them encapsulate all of this energy and fill it with light. And Cooper, as we do this, I want you to tell me how that changes the situation. What this energy looks like as it would change it. It's lighter. Mm-hmm. So now I'd like to ask for the Archangels to assist. And let's take this energy right directly to the light. Don't leave any around. I want them to scan all of the women in Rodney's family and see if there's any negativity, any thought forms lingering around them. Let me know if you see any. system. All right. So let's encapsulate that thought form around his sister. Let's just cut to the chase and let's get this done. I want those angels to throw a net around this negative thought form. Encapsulate it and take it directly to the light. Make sure you scan the room. There's nothing else ready to take place. And I'd like the, the white light to come in and fill her from head to toe and surround her with protection. And do the same for the rest of the women in this family. Completely seal them with this beautiful light of protection. Cooper, let me know what it looks like now in your family. feel like they they all feel that they understand mm -hmm. that it, it's been time wasted mm -hmm. over the years but nobody knows how to how to heal mm -hmm. everything that kept them separated yeah so now we can get down to the business that they came here to do, Cooper? Yes. All right. Would you look at your great-grandson and see if there's any atten attachments to him today? Just doubt. Doubt. All right. We'll take care of that. Cooper, is there anything else that you would like to say at this time? Mm -hmm. They're doing very well. Very good. 
Is there anything that Rodney would like to ask his great grandmother? Can you watch over our family? Mm -hmm. What do you say, Cooper? Sure. Very good. Thank you very much, Cooper, for your assistance today. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Well, Let me speak with the higher self again. Okay. She says that he had some doubt that was hindering him. Can we begin working with that doubt today? Yes. I'd like to ask on his behalf for guides that will help him, make him feel confident in what he's doing, eliminate that doubt from his mind. And rather than doubt, I want him to replace that with discernment. Okay. All right, thank you very much. What was going on with uh, his face and moving things in that house? What was scratching his face? Was it that energy? Yes. Okay, so that's done. Yes, it was trying to get his attention. Get his attention, good, and it did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you do a, a body scan on him and let's see how his body is today? Yes. Mm -hmm. How's it look? His feet. What's going on with his feet? He has broke. He broke bones on his left foot. Mm -hmm. Some issues. He's it's going to bother him. Okay. Now I know that the higher self can fix anything, mend anything, because the body is flexible. It's not solid. Can you begin working on his toes now, his feet? Yes. All right. And let's get them healed so that he doesn't have any issues. Yes. How is his diet doing? He's doing fine, but he doesn't have to go overboard. Okay. So he doesn't have to eat all organic. Yeah, he can, he can have the meat and, and different, uh, Foods that aren't organic here and there, mm -hmm. but, but try to stay as organic as possible. Good, good. Um, and what about his his body as far as sugar is concerned? He seems to have bubbles coming out. Is that from the sugar? Or is that something no. else? Not from sugar. Okay. What is that from? The vibration is body is vibration is increasing. Mm-hmm. So it's kinda of like a a milkshake. Yeah. He's getting all shaken up inside. Right. What's going on with the vibration? We were talking about that earlier. That there's a lot of people feeling a lot of stuff going on in their body. What's all this vibration all about? He has to... He's been going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Because... He wasn't seeing the signs mm -hmm. over time that he needed to take care of his mind and body. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of full force mm -hmm. where we're really working on him and mm -hmm. he's feeling a lot of the effects whereas before if he would have ate better mm -hmm. and meditated it would have been more evenly spread. Mm -hmm. But he's transitioning. Mm -hmm. His body is changing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these little sensations that one feels, 
it's all in, in the, the the body's getting lighter or changing dimension. What is it they actually doing? Yeah, his body's his vibration is increasing mm -hmm. so that he can go into another dimension. Mm -hmm. So we have to just put up with all of the little tingling and stretching and pulling of our skin. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Who is this guardian angel? Michael. Michael. Is there anything that Michael would like to tell him today? Keep it up. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. You're coming along exactly how you need. And just trust your, your intuition. And don't worry about what you're leaving behind. Be excited about what you're becoming. Good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't ask today that Rodney would like to know? Good. Do you have a final message for him or anybody else? Get ready. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. Just trust that you're capable of changing. There's nothing's going to hurt you. Just. Calm your mind. Because we're constantly being toyed with with television and in a, a fast paced world. But just trust yourself, you'll be fine. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Right away. Feeling wonderful all over. Mm. I got the bath. Oh. Tell me about it. That was that was weird. Like I have seen the video. <laughs> Is that a good weird or a bad weird? No, it was <laughs> it was a good weird. Is mm -hmm. I've seen uh how people say you know, you can feel yourself talking. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like you're, mm -hmm. you're talking. Yeah. So how did it feel for you? No, it, it was nice. It was nice. Um, I just felt like, like I could have answered any question. Mm -hmm. It was just trying to convey the message. Mm -hmm. but it was, was it coming to you? Yeah. Easily? Yeah, it was coming to me. It, it was coming to me. How about grandma? Great grandma. Great, great grandma. Cooper. Yeah. How did that feel? It was um, it was nice um, cause I I I think she died before I was born. I can't mm -hmm. even remember, but mm -hmm. just to kind of I kind of felt her presence a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and and just to to see what she felt because I I feel like she was aware mm -hmm. of what's going on. Well, even though we don't out know know our ancestors, they mm -hmm. know us. Right. That's why there are many many cultures that insist on people honoring ancestors. their ancestors. Right. You know, they're, when we don't do that in this society, and it's a shame because the ancestors want to be honored right. and respected because we wouldn't be here we, without them, and we have the, their DNA. Right. So it's, it's nice to be able to connect. Yeah, I just want to wanna play it back and, and, and look at it. Yeah. Cause it's, it, I don't know. It's just you know you just you see different scenes. Yes. And you just kind of trying to figure it out, but at the same time express what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. You did a wonderful job. Yeah. How long did you feel that you were on this journey? Uh, Truthfully. Maybe like forty minutes. Mm -hmm. An hour and a half. Oh wow! Yeah, that definitely didn't feel like an hour and a half. Yeah. 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 So now that you've done this, how does hypnosis feel? 
it feels natural. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought you you know feel like you sedated or something like that, but <laughs> it um, it actually like you said, it feels like you still have control, but you you tapped into something else at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you it feels normal. And you were very relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the things you gave me to hold. How did I still sell it? You have another one over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, just, it felt like all one, like I was a part of it. Like, yeah. Like this whole, this bed, me laying down, it just felt like I was a part of this whole thing. The block. Yeah. I'll show you with your selenite. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I definitely, definitely was relaxed and um, mm-hmm. surprised. And I, it, it kind of felt like a, um, like a meditative mm-hmm. uh, type of type of state. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to keep this private? Uh, no. I mean, if if somebody can get something from it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So we just had a very nice session. You felt it was very it was very peaceful, no drama, yeah. right? Yeah. So, how would you like to tell everybody what it what this experience felt like? Uh. I think when I came, I, I felt like it was going to be more like a mystical type of a thing, but it, it felt it felt real like a natural state, like like I said, like you're going to sleep, but you're still awake type of thing. Like I don't like know, it, I just feel hypnosis real is not sleep. Yeah. So you know, when you're sleeping, you're out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and it, you it, were here. Yeah, but it it felt like you just like you're just real calm, you just real relaxed, mm-hmm. and it just it, stuff just starts like. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think you may have had some doubts at the beginning because you're kind of like a you like to control yeah, your, yeah. your environment and everything. How did you feel? Um. When did you finally like say, okay, I don't have to control this. I can go along with the flow. What what convinced you? To after, do that? after my bathroom break, I was kind of <laughs> thinking about it, like because I, I would get you know one thing and then I'm saying no no no, and I, I would want to like kind of correct it or fix it, but but <laughs> it's like no, edit. go with it. Edit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, after I came back, I just just like you say, just relax and and just picture yourself just well, or whatever attitude, whatever comes, yeah. that's that's what's meant to come. So. And it happened. Yeah. So how how do you think that people can like prepare themselves for this? Um, I mean, I can only say how I prepare myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. just come with no expectations and. You know, I, I started meditating at the beginning of this year. I try to do it every day. So mm-hmm. just meditate, just have peace of mind, mm-hmm. come ready just to for whatever comes out, basically. And what was the reason you came? Uh, for for health re- reasons mm-hmm. and a little bit of um, you know business, but for health and family. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And you think that you got everything you needed? Yeah. When I just went back there, I was just thinking like, well, why did I have a life of a carpenter? <laughs> carpenter, but you know, to learn not to be so. You know, business, business, or controlling. Exactly. You and have just to do it my way. Right. Because we have to make the money. Yeah, and and, and I, I can see that in myself in this life. So it's like, okay, let me learn from that to not repeat it. So mm-hmm. I definitely um. And you went to school. Yeah. For that. Yeah. And you had the, the classroom with your wife and your son and this other guy who volunteered. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. I'm surprised that that stuff came to me. I didn't think that I would experience something like that. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. You recommend this? Oh yeah. So how sure. far did you come from? I came from Maryland. Yeah. So what was that? A thousand miles or something like that? Wow. Yeah, because I, I flew out here to uh, to an event. And um, I actually, after I leave, I'm going to go to the event. But I wanted to stop here first, but I'm, I'm definitely glad that I come. And you're going to be much more relaxed. Relaxed and calm. Everybody yeah. else is going to be stressed. Yeah. You're going to be, uh-huh. be in a different world. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I so, definitely recommend it. So if you want to see me, you can go to albawineman.com and sign up. Uh, my calendar is online. All you have to do is book it, and we'll see you on the next session. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Best part is the hug. Uh, Thank you. It was good.